Okay, YouTubers. So, we uh, put an above ground pool in our backyard and we had a, a dilemma of filling it with water. And uh, we could use the city water and um, fill out a whole bunch of paperwork and a bunch of hassle and they delete the sewer charge and still end up with a bill that's like 80 bucks more than normal or fill it with our sprinkler system with the well water. And that's what we decided to do is fill it with well water. And of course, when it came out, it was kind of, um, I'd say apple juice color. And uh, right now I got the solar cover on it. But um, as you can see, it is crystal clear now. And the way I got that to work was I've seen other videos and there's a million of them out there. I was a little skeptical of using a bucket and some stuff called polyfill which is just stuffing from a pillow. And all you do is you get a five gallon bucket or whatever size you can get and you drill some holes on the top side of it. Um, this bucket, I did this a couple of weeks ago. I haven't looked inside to see what the filling looks like but it got rid of all the uh, rust in the water as um, the paper filters would not do it. So I got a five gallon bucket. I used the paint style lid because it clips on and seals better. And my pool has an inch and a quarter hoses. So I just bought myself a, uh, this one was a plastic fitting. It was actual inch and a quarter outside diameter as where most inch and a quarters are inside diameter. And I just super glued that on to the uh, spout for the um, actual paint there. So anyways, I want to see what's inside, what it looks like, and uh, do this real quick. I have not opened this, as you can tell, and it actually worked, which was surprising. I was kind of skeptical. I did add chlorine to the pool. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that would make it even rust more, and so I kind of did it twofold. I ran the filter and added the chlorine at the same time and it magically went away. It was crystal clear and the pH level was actually really good. Wow. So there's the stuffing from the pillows. And as you can see, it did collect the rust in the pillow. And if you look, it's all like on the top side. So I just sacrificed one of our pillows. I did not have polyfill. I didn't want to go to the store, so I just took a throw pillow and put it in there. And as you can see, you know, it really did catch it. It's kind of interesting. It caught it all near the uh, holes where the water was escaping, not much, so much on the bottom, like I thought it would do. But um, one note about it, you know, I'm kind of interested to see that it actually did catch. You know, you kind of see people's videos and you're like, whoa, what really happened to it? They don't ever show you the stuffing in it. And this is actually it. You know, it was white like that before. And uh, as you can see, I pulled the... Uh, zippy thing off. So, the thing I noticed about this setup is everybody did the holes on the end of the bucket and they had smaller pools than mine. And I did that at first and nothing really was happening, barely any water was coming out. So, I ended up drilling this thing a million times more near the top here. You know, plus what's on the bottom. And then after that, I had noticed too, like I say, I bought the lid that clips on, um, that even with all that, this thing was blowing up pretty substantially. You can see it's got a kind of a crown to it a little still, and um, I used a ratchet strap around it to keep this all together. But um, if you guys are thinking about doing that, it's just set up to clean the water in the pool, it did work. Like I say, there's the proof, you know, this is the rust that was in that water. You can see it's still formed to the shape of the bucket down there. But, um, you know, it caught all that stuff. Look at that. Yeah. But, um, just wanted to show you guys, if you guys are thinking about it or needed to do it, you know, I suggest definitely doing it. Um, much cheaper than buying some chemicals. I just added the chlorine so we'd have chlorine in there anyways. That may have helped it, um, get caught by the, um, stuffing I'm not exactly sure but that's how I got the pool clean there are chemicals that are out there and I've heard different reviews of the chemicals of working and not working but this cost me I think it was like more for the lid than it was for the most expensive thing was this plastic fitting which was like four or five dollars 
and then the uh, lid and the bucket itself they're three or four dollars each so you know for about 12 bucks you know I got the uh, pool clean in 24 hours it took about it took about the first 24 hours you've seen a substantial difference and then after that um, it took the total I'd say about a day and a half so 24 hours straight and then probably another half of a day until it was perfectly clear because I started it on the evening and then the next morning it was really clear and then you know completely by the end of that night it was crystal clear so after that I went back to the regular filter and started running the little filter pump which is the little paper filters here would not catch the medical par metal particles in there even after all that I had the filter in line with this um, five gallon bucket filter that I made and the um, filter when I took it out never had any rust in it which was kind of amazing the pores I guess are so big in the paper that it just goes right through but if you're thinking about doing that I will put some pictures in this video hopefully to show you before and after and as it was going but like I say that's I wanted to save that and keep it so you guys could see what's actually inside the filter it's just stuffing from a pillow and a five gallon bucket I suggest making plenty of holes to let the pump be able to flow and uh, you know that should work pretty good for you alright bye